well, little Kim, he's messing with the wrong people. We're going to evaporate his ass. You know, when you walk around the neighborhood bragging that you're going to hit somebody, any moment now I'm going to hit somebody, it won't be long before somebody takes the first strike at you. And that's exactly what's going to happen to little Kim. You all might affectionately know him as uh, Kim Jong-un of Korea. The fact of the matter is, he keeps threatening. He keeps promising he's going to do it. And it won't be long before we rain down holy hell upon his country. Now don't worry. I doubt that it'll be nuclear. But I guarantee you, it will not be pretty. Let me read a quick article from the Wall Street Journal. Although I consider them a rag of a newspaper, it was an interesting read. By Jonathan Cheng. North Korea said it would conduct a sixth and significantly larger nuclear test Sunday, stepping up the pressure on President Trump in what is shaping up to be his biggest foreign policy crisis. In a television statement, North Korea described the underground explosion which triggered a large earthquake as a perfect success in the test of a hydrogen bomb for an ICBM. The credibility of the operation of the nuclear warhead is fully guaranteed. The test came just after hours of leader Kim Jong-un showing off what he described as a hydrogen bomb capable of being mounted on an intercontinental ballistic missile. Now, it was only a month or two ago where he was bragging that he had the capability, the range of hitting Guam. Now, all of a sudden, we're talking intercontinental ballistic missiles. So, either this article or the news or, the, or our entire news media outlets are trying to throw a curveball at us to believe that we need to go to war. Or he actually has an intercontinental ballistic missile. Now, while I said I don't trust the news media outlets for, for the paper that they, they're printed on, the news that they, these articles are printed on, for all I know, this is just propaganda leading the people to believe that we need to go to war due to a crisis of a threat. But sometimes it's not really the, the fact. Sometimes they trick us into standing behind them to go to war for political game, game. And I hope that this is not one of those situations where they're just trying to rally up the American people to go to war because I'm telling you it was just months ago he only had the capability of reaching Guam now all of a sudden he has an intercontinental ballistic missile but anyway you folks have a great weekend I appreciate you listening you have a great Labor Day I'm going out to tear up a little beer I'm gonna go tip a few back and I'm into the German stouts and stuff like that. Take care.